So for those of you who follow my uh, my ill-fated Twitter account, which was banned for 1.5 years for platform manipulation and spam that they recently admitted they lied about when they um, uh, released it from Twitter jail uh, 1.5 years later, after saying the suspension was permanent, by the way, and couldn't be reversed, um, or whatever. So, uh, those people, right? Uh, I posted, uh, on this account, uh, something that I preserved elsewhere. Um, and I will read that now. Uh, because it was basically just a mishmash of trending topics and I was stirring the pot. Right? So, my goal a lot of the time is to just talk about the trending topic and, uh get a bunch of people, like, arguing in my mentions, or at least arguing with me, um, because then I can see what the best arguments that are the most common are, and nobody had an actual argument against what I said here, so I know that I have a pretty good point. This is one of the reasons I'm so confident, right? So I, uh, I tweeted some facts. The January 6th committee was a scam. Trumpism is no worse than Bidenism. Agreeing with Trump 93% of the time, like Liz Cheney did, isn't the root. It's a system that gives frauds like Liz Cheney power. That is until, you know, they decide they no longer have a use for her. And calls Biden a progressive while his policies jail minorities and police the world. Further, I said, uh, more facts. Harriet Hageman won't strike the root, and both Liz Cheney and Meghan McCain come from families who enabled torture. Both parties will weaponize emotions to get material and moral support, and then... Nothing foundational which will change. America is friendly fascism. Now, I talked shit about both Republicans and Democrats. You'll notice it here. I openly said that Hagman isn't a solution which should have been just as effective at pissing off the MAGA crowd as uh, the rest of my statements were at pissing off the shit libs, or what I sometimes call the shallow libs. But I also said that Liz Cheney and Meghan McCain suck because they're, you know, from families which were affiliated with, like, the Bushes. And maybe that fucking sucks. And maybe that's not something we should enable and encourage by treating them like they're somehow subject matter experts because they got shot out of those dicks. So, I just feel like I'm not wrong about that. Because, you know, I'm not fucking wrong about that and nobody could prove it otherwise. Um... And then I said America is friendly fascism. Now, when I tell people uh, friendly fascism, you know, when I use those words, it's partially because it's a very effective way to describe it. You know, a veneer of democracy and participation and freedom over what is exactly just fascism. It's friendly fascism, but it's also a relation to... A far-left, vegan, anarchist band called Consolidated, and a great song they did called Friendly Fascism, about how state capitalism in America, combined with the, uh, the, the education and news and media in general, food, all of it, is the root of a friendly form of fascism. Now, I don't agree with Consolidated on everything, 
But one of the cool things about Consolidated is that in their concerts, they would pass around a mic to give people, you know, the freedom of speech to actually debate with them. And they would get into full-on, like, long-form debates and let these people say their piece because that's how confident they were in their position and how confident they were that they were right and not in a cult. Right? Then they would put these actual debates as part of the album. That's fucking based as fuck, yo. Um, and I think it it's sort of a testament to what it can be like when leftism is truly interested in being liberatory. Because let me be clear, much of modern leftism, it isn't. Um, and it just goes to the, the same sort of fucking deadline that Marxism did when Marxism decided to expel people like Bakunin. You know? And I think, ultimately, this is a very fucking balanced tweet. A very fucking balanced set of tweets. But that didn't stop some people from being fucking triggered, and I will bring those people up as well. This person is fucking... This person blocks me. Uh, the person uh, Michael here is responding to. We Dems, they have like 60,000 followers. And they immediately posted this dumb fucking thing that implied I don't really think Trump lost. And that I'm in a cult. And they called me a moron. And then immediately blocked me. And a bunch of people are, you know, discussing that in, in their mentions and quote tweeting them and shit because it's fucking... And then, you know, you've got this other guy who's just saying the same thing. Like, they're all just pulling from the same stupid playbook. And to be super clear, I can prove them wrong, and I already did, because they don't have an argument against what I was saying. They just said that. But I also proved them wrong in multiple tweets, right? I'm the furthest thing you could say from a cult, and I'm the furthest thing you could say from a Trump supporter. Despite being willing to entertain the prospect that voting machines called Dominion uh, might have some issues with them, especially considering some of the factors surrounding those machines. It's okay to question the machine, no matter what the machine is or who the machine benefited in that moment. Even if it's not metaphorical and it's a literal fucking machine. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay to criticize. And the people you're not allowed to definitely be suspicious of them, to say the fucking least. But this, 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 I post this on Facebook. I post my tweets on Facebook, and I'm about to start posting them on all networks. Um, some of you might be here from Odyssey, um, because I've been posting Odyssey links, uh, which are the backup blockchain things of these videos to places like Gap, Mines, Liberdon, Mastodon, and, uh, fucking Float. Um, and also MeWe. Yeah, like, I've been posting to the alternate nets like I fucking promised to this week. And like I kept promising to before, but, you know, fucking got hung up on some shit. Um, and also, you know, hello to the new subscribers on YouTube and Odyssey, because there was a small spike after I mentioned that I, uh, you know, lost three of them for basically no fucking reason. Um... It could be just a YouTube purge with the amount of, like, chunking that happened there. Uh, but either way, the point is that I post these to Facebook. Um, I post my tweets to Facebook because I want them to be preserved. Uh, and if I ever get banned from Twitter again, uh, my tweets 
will still be on Facebook, just like they were last time. So, with that being said, um, this is a Facebook group I'm in. Um, and <laughs> when I tweet posted my tweet to this Facebook group, um, this was the only real one I got this kind of group thinky fucking slavish response in. And it's fucking hilarious. Ben Gilbert over here. <laughs> oh, man. He's saying Twitter is a cesspool. But not actually arguing with the point I made. It wouldn't surprise me because he's been aloof and naive about certain other points I've made. Uh, if he just assumed that I was reposting somebody else's tweet. Um, but no, in fact, Ben, I, I was not. This is my tweet. Um, and and he couldn't handle basically uh, any arguments. Right? Um, and he says, you know, he, he first saw memes as though this is a meme and not just a screenshot of a fucking tweet. Like, here's a pro tip, y'all. It's not a meme just because it's an image on the internet. Not all images on the fucking internet are memes. God, that's so fucking annoying. Like, oh, it's it's a bad meme. It's not a meme. Like, you you hand somebody a fucking essay uh, or a book or something, and it's like, oh, that's that's too much. That's mucho texto. I can't read that because I'm fucking illiterate and stupid. Um, you know, uh, you hand them like a book, and they're like, oh no, what a terrible meme. It's not a meme. It's just something somebody's presenting you and you, that you want to reject out of hand. And and for Ben Gilbert's sake, um, just to be very fucking specific, um, yeah, I saw memes a lot longer than that on Facebook, at least the things that people who are dumb call memes. Uh, they're not memes. Uh, and I know this because I have read The Selfish Gene and I know where memes come from, and these aren't memes. But, like, either way, just to be, like, specific, um, I saw memes my whole time on Facebook. Literally, the whole fucking time I was on Facebook, I was seeing memes in this way. Like, at least this bad interpretation of what a meme is. And, like, it really took a fever pitch during the Ron Paul campaign and uh, when when these things were starting to be really heavily politicized. Um, and, and so, fucking, to be incredibly clear, you just don't understand the subject or, or the people you're talking to or anything, really, Ben, because you've never had an argument against anything I've said. But he, he got upset because of the tweet. He had no argument. Um, Victor got upset because talking points and talking points by the way for all y'all's benefit they're not fucking real they're not fucking real there is no such thing as a talking point everybody talks except people who are incapable of communication and everybody who talks tries to make points everything is a talking point and therefore nothing is a talking point because it's not a fucking meaningful distinction like oh yeah i made a point but you made a talking point oh i added the word talking in front of point that makes your point stupid i win it's such a stupid argument uh in that it's not an argument at all right and then fucking this guy comes in Sh slamming party members for going against the party lines Helps promote fascism. Bidenism isn't a thing. Woo! Okay. So, just to be super fucking clear. That's cult mentality. That is cult mentality. Because I didn't say that they were bad because they went against party lines. They are party lines. Most Republicans aren't 
super keen on slobbing the Trump knob. Especially since he's no longer in. There's still an undercurrent, sure. He still has influence, sure. But that doesn't mean that party lines is somehow a tiny group of people on January 6th that went to storm shit. And by that I mean throw a tantrum that wasn't really an insurrection, which is why this whole thing is a scam. And why they took that woman's word for it when she said a thing happened. Uh, and then Secret Service had to come say, no, he didn't fucking lunge at us. She's lying and she had no evidence, just I said so. This is fucking stupid. Maybe the the thing that's constantly relying on unreliable testimony is a fucking scam. And I don't need to go against the people who are going against party lines to to, to point that out. And maybe it's a big old fucking distraction from things that are actually problems. Like the fact that the biolabs were proven to have been funded in Ukraine and there was one in, in, in Wuhan. Like maybe the fact that they're slowly starting to pull back all these restrictions. Maybe the fact that they're still planning on their fucking uh, digital currency that will be global and mandatory. Maybe the fact that Police are still, during all these lockdown measures, managing to kill an average of a thousand people a year by gunfire alone. Maybe a proxy war in Russia, just as another one draws down. You know, just there's a shit ton of fucking shit to actually fucking worry about, and maybe we should do that. Maybe the real fascism isn't a bunch of idiots tantruming in buffalo costumes. Fuck! Maybe the real fascism is the fascists in charge, one of whom is the president and who claims ownership of the Patriot Act, who wrote fascist crime bills, who issued mandatory minimums before the fucking uh, family member, fucking Hunter Biden got caught, and now he's sorry. Maybe it's fascism! And the fact that you like Biden, the guy who eulogized an ex-cyclops of the KKK, maybe the fact that you like him isn't fucking relevant. And maybe you're a Bidenist, and ignoring the problems is actually potentially worse, and certainly no better than Trumpism. And then, just to prove my point here, I went I, I went ahead and, and had a conversation, if you can call it that, with these people, which eventually resulted in these cultists, this little libshit circle jerk, um, just <laughs> making the most vapid points, um, and then ignoring the ones that I made just flatly ignoring them. This guy gave me an itemized list in ABCD form. And then when I responded to his itemized list in ABCD form, he just said, T-O-D-I, fucking moron can't read. That's my enemies. That's the kinds of people that oppose me opposing Biden. When I do give them a full argument against their fucking terrible, terrible points, they just say, TLDR, you've clearly made your assumptions and are spewing so much word vomit that you become undebatable. Nice threat, I'll keep note of it in the future. Uh, no, you won't. You're, you're a fucking moron. And you couldn't handle any historical debate circles. Ever. Like, I've read so many exchanges on Anarchist Library or Mises uh, Institute um, or Marxists.org. Uh, I've read so many just political exchanges between people writing essays to each other, and you can't handle a sub-10 paragraph fucking Facebook comment because you're stupid intentionally. So... Just to put it that way, uh, 
hey, here's here's the rest of the exchange, you know, because I posted a shit ton of facts. They had nothing. This is Bidenism. This is Bidenism laid to full bear where it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't fucking matter how many facts you tell them, how much information you have. They like Biden and or they don't like Trump. So that makes anything fucking okay, as long as it opposes them. And that brings me to Sam Harris, which is a prime example of what I'm talking about. And I'll probably be covering this much more in depth in the future. But I just thought I'd play you a little fucking video that went viral today, so you could see how this works when it gets power. Hunter Biden, at that point, Hunter Biden literally could have had, had the corpses of children in his basement. I would not have cared, right? It's like, it's, there's nothing. First of all, it's Hunter Biden, right? It's not, it's like, it's not Joe Biden. But even if Joe, like, even the, whatever scope of Joe Biden's corruption is, like, if, you, if we could just go down that rabbit hole endlessly and, and understand that he's getting kickbacks from Hunter Biden's deals in Ukraine or wherever else, right, or China, it is infinitesimal compared to the corruption we know Trump is involved in. It's like it's like it's like a firefly to the sun, right? I mean, like there's just it doesn't even it doesn't even stack up against Trump University, right? Trump University as a story is worse than anything that could be in in Hunter Biden's laptop, in my view, right? Now that's not that doesn't answer the people who say it's still completely unfair to not have looked at the laptop in a timely way and to have shut down the you know the new york post's twitter account like that that's a, just a conspiracy that's a left-wing conspiracy to deny the presidency to donald trump absolutely it was absolutely right but i think it was warranted right and i'm and again it's a coin toss as to whether or not sam i'm sorry that particular piece i'm, I'm is, really yeah. sorry I, I was the one that said we should move yeah, on yeah. but you've just oh, said yeah. something i really struggle with there, which is the, you ki support the, ki the, ki the kids in the basement you no no <laughs> fuck the kids in the basement i'm interested yeah. in democracy you're saying you are content with a left-wing conspiracy to prevent somebody being democratically re-elected as president well no I, i'm content well so it's but the thing is it's just not left-wing right so liz cheney is not left-wing right liz cheney you're is doing everything with a conspiracy in her power to prevent somebody no, being democratic it's not a, no but there's nothing conspiracy it's not it, it was a conspiracy out in the open it does but it doesn't matter if it was a, it doesn't matter what parts conspiracy what parts out in the open i mean i think it's like if people get together and talk and talk about what should we do with, about this phenomenon you know if, if it's like if there, if there was an asteroid hurtling toward earth and and we got in a room together with all of our friends and had a conversation about what we could do to deflect its course, right? Is that a conspiracy? You know, like some of the Do I even need to say anything? I'm sick of it. I really fucking am. I'm sick of being insulted as a conspiracy theorist. I'm sick of being accused of fascism for opposing marriages between the media corporations, the state, the military and the cops, the intelligence apparatuses, you know, all of this to, to drive a specific narrative or push a specific type of behavior To make groups of minorities to oppress and exclude or enslave. I'm sick of being called fash or right wing because I happen to be going against this. And groups like that one that I just showed you. Um, <laughs> they use that sort of shit as their bread and butter. Share blue, which, um, uh, you know, Peter Coffin, the terrible guy who leftists are supposed to hate, uh, he had the audacity to, uh, go against Share blue when other people weren't. 
and to go against the racist narrative that the only reason Trump would have possibly gotten anywhere is because of Russia and the Kremlin? Oh, and by the way, just, uh, the only kinds of things that they could prove in that regard were that evil Russians were running anti-police brutality websites and things like that to prove that it's a fucking problem in this country and that maybe certain politicians are responsible. You know what that is? That's fucking true. And it doesn't matter that the Russians said it. When you can just ignore evidence, when you can just ignore facts in front of you and claim fascism, Russia, bigotry, some shit like that without proving any of it, which has happened to me over and over and over, you're the fascist. Or at least you're a toady for them. Because guess what? You're not in control. Your people do not do anything for any other reason than profit and power. They don't put on that rainbow shit for any other reason than profit and power. And if they did, if they did care about making a stand, they would rainbowize their Saudi Arabia profiles too. But instead, they kind of ignore politics when convenient. Like the fact that Saudi Arabia is a massively homophobic country that's currently participating in a genocide that the U.S. just can't help but back. And while Colbert and fucking shitlib company have no problem encouraging Biden going to Saudi Arabia for oil to get away from the evil genociders, Russia. Instead of just tapping domestic supplies, instead of allowing domestic jobs, instead of stopping fighting wars so that we had more of that oil for us, instead of jack-fucking-shit that would actually help, or even address climate change, these people are still on the oil bus hard enough to endorse people that Joe Biden is breaking campaigns uh, promises by endorsing by helping, by selling weapons to, by fist bumping. Because it's not Russia. And doing all of this as Biden is okay because he's not Trump. Shut the fuck up if that's you. For real. You're the fascist. You're encouraging the fascism. And everybody who's with me is tired of pretending you're not. This is insanity. In its rawest form. It's delusion. It's narcissism. It's socio and psychopathy. It's evil. But people get away with it because they parrot the right slogans. Because they brush their shit, rainbow, or post a black square, or post the right hashtag. They're doing it so you keep giving them money for products that will enable the status quo. That's all. They don't give a fuck about you. So realize that. Realize that I'm not a fascist for opposing these people. Realize that if you support Biden through all this and support a literal conspiracy against anyone against him because we might get Trump again, ooh, that'd be the worst, even though it'd be exactly the same thing statistically fucking speaking, but maybe with marginally lower insulin prices. You're a Bidenist. You're an occult. And you're a fucking moron. Are we clear? Because I really hope we are. I'm going to get back to doing what I do best and posting the facts that piss people off. And also maybe getting dinner.
But maybe we should all start thinking about better ways to smash the fucking state. All of it. Yeah. Even yours.